Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel um, and welcome to this week's video. I am in, I'm back on the floor. Um, I'm kind of having the camera angled down at me because last time I had it angled up and that's not a good angle. While I'm filming this, it is Tuesday. My desk is coming on Thursday. My chair is not going to be here until next week and my lighting kit is already here. So Friday's video should have like my nice setup. Um, so bear with me. For my video this week, I wanted to do, I've seen this trend a little bit, um, full face using products that beauty gurus have made me buy. I'm such a sucker. So <laughs> I had so many products to choose from. If you want to see what products I've bought because of beauty gurus or how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm sorry if the lighting changes throughout this video. I'm filming with natural light right now. My lighting kit is here, but... Um, I wanted to wait until the rest of my setup was here to like really set the lights up and everything. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm an amazing consumer and if you tell me one thing that I think sounds good, I'm gonna buy it. So for primer, I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer and Kathleen Lights is actually the one who talked about this a lot. Yeah, she talked really highly about it. So I got it and then this I believe is like my third one so I definitely really love it. For foundation, um, this is a few YouTubers. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, and I think Jack on Hill is the first one who made me buy it. And then Laura Lee also talks about it. I've seen so many YouTubers talk about it. Um, Rach Loves talks about it. I use kind of a lot. It's a full coverage foundation, but I don't think it looks good with like a thin layer. I use kind of a lot. Even my foundation brush was a Jaclyn Hill recommendation. This is the Morphe M439 foundation brush. I literally have two of them. I like how easy this foundation is to blend out and it's a pretty good match for me. I'm ghostly, so I'm in the shade Alabaster, which just means really freaking pale. I have two concealers that YouTubers talk about. Kathleen Lights talks about the Liquid Camouflage Concealer by Catrice, and I use this one a lot, and then obviously the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know a YouTuber who hasn't talked about this, and it is phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape today, because it's a full coverage foundation, so I'm gonna use my full coverage concealer. Um, it's a super full coverage concealer, I love it. Um, I, right now, I have the shade Fair Beige, lighting's changing again. I went to the store to buy a different shade in this, but this is the only one they had. This is when it, like, first came out. Even now, they, like, still never have them all in stock. Like, all the shades in stock, but this is when it first came out and, like, all of the shades were gone. This was the only shade I could find. Then, for powder, I don't have a... I didn't bring a powder brush down. I don't have a face powder that um, was, I specifically bought because of a YouTuber, but this RCMA No Color Powder, Kathleen Lights talked about for a while, and then I bought it, and then Jaclyn Hill got it after that, so I've heard a bunch of YouTubers talk about it. I'm just using my blush brush <laughs> because it's clean. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit in the shade 3. Um, I started using this. I started using this because of Laura Lee. She actually was like an ambassador for this. And yeah, she's the reason I started using this. And I will never stop using it. I love it. I just switched from shade 2 to shade 3 because I wanted to fill my eyebrows in a little darker um, because I plan on getting all the blonde out of my hair and going to back to brown. And the lighting's going away. And my battery's flashing already. I'm not going to do a ton of eyeshadow, um, but this Morphe palette um, was highly recommended by YouTubers. It's the 35 O palette. This is like before. This was like the Morphe palette that every single person talked about. I think it was Jaclyn Hill that originally talked about it and made me want to buy it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the Morphe M533 and just um, this shade right here. Throw this in my crease. And I didn't prime my eyes, so whoops. 
Um, I'm just kind of throwing this literally all over my eye. Everywhere. Now I'm just going to take this uh, Wet n Wild crease brush, fluff brush, I don't know. Um, Kathy Light spoke about these brushes, which made me want it. I'm going to take this like center shade right here. It's a little bit of a deeper brown. It's still pretty warm. I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner. Well, the next thing I was going to do was put on eyeliner. A nice wing, but I forgot my eyeliner brush, so I will be right back. I'm back. I have my eyeliner brush and my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Black Eyeliner in Blackest Black that I used before, but Jaclyn Hill also recommends it, so I just ran upstairs really fast. I'm trying to finish this before I have to go pick up my sister and the battery dies. I am not going to be able to do this on camera, so I will be back when this is done. <laughs> Okay, now that it has been 800 years and they, my wings don't match, um, I'm gonna move on. These are not my best wings. I don't really do eyeliner on myself anymore. Um, I really only do it on clients, so. Moving on to the rest of the face. This bronzer I bought because Kathleen Lights recommended it. I'm in the, it's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and mine is the shade of bronzer. I know they just came out with some new shades because they only had light and bronzer before and like I'm a pretty pale person and I use the shade bronzer, so. But actually, I'm gonna use this stippling brush instead. And um, Amy Macedo is the one who um, got me on the technique of using a stippling brush for my bronzer. Next, I believe it was Kathleen Lights who turned me onto the Wet n Wild blushes. Mine's broken. This is in the shade Rose Champagne, and I'm gonna use the, not that one, um, Morphe E4 brush. I don't really wear blush, but this one's really pretty. It's not, it's very subtle. I also only use a little bit of it, but the Wet n Wild blushes, since they've been reformulated, have been really nice. I feel like this is an OG recommended product on YouTube. It was like the first big highlighter. The first highlighter I feel like I ever heard about, and it was, it's the Bomb, Mary Luminizer by The Bomb highlight. It is super glowy, super pretty, and I'm using the Morphe M501, which I believe Amy Macedo uses. Kat Jacqueline Hill had raved about it, but I think she switched, and I think Amy Macedo still uses this one. I just realized that my new light would have made it so you can see this highlight and how bomb it is. Now that I'm done with the face, I'm going to set my brows, and this, I don't know if Aspen Ovar counts as a beauty guru, but um, she recommended um, the products by Pixie that I use. She talks very highly about both of the Pixie products that I'm going to use, the Clear Brow Gel and the Lower Lash Mascara, two of my favorite products, and they come in a set together, so pick that up. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. For mascara, I'm using the, mine's all beat up and gross, but it's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I feel like Laura Lee is the one I heard this from first, like who recommended it? Because she compared it to the Bowden Sex. I could be wrong, but I know that I bought this because everyone compared it to the Better Than Sex Mascara, and I like this one a lot more. Lighting, changing, again, I hate this. And the, wow. <laughs> Pixie Lower Lash Mascara. To set my face, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, Jaclyn Hill raved about this before it was even out. And I've heard so many people rave about it since, and it's been sold out constantly. But I finally got my hands on it, and it is absolutely one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. Lastly, I'm going to finish off my look with some lipstick. And these are this is the Aquarius Bundle from ColourPop that Kathleen Lights collaborated with. Um, her and Jaclyn Hill are the two people that if they collaborate with someone, I like buy it immediately. Um, so I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use the Aquarius gloss today. But I realize the shade doesn't <laughs> really match my eyes, but like I really like it, so we're going with that. 
So that is the finished look. Those are all of the products, not all of the products, those are some of the products that YouTubers have recommended that I have bought. My camera is dying, I'm late. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment about a makeup product or something that a YouTuber has made you buy. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I will see you all on Friday. Bye!